CodeBear29 and today I'm going to be showing you part one to making a story game. So this is pretty cool um, and it's in 2020 so everything's updated. So let's get right into it. But first before we do please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's really not that hard. Just hit that subscribe button and it'll keep my channel going. Uh, yeah. I'm waiting. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to insert a screen GUI and start a GUI. And then you can insert a frame. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we can just uh, place it wherever you want, if you want the message. So this part's the messaging um, system. So the character's telling you what, what you're doing and all that. Uh, so after you find where you want to put it, I'll just put it here for now, um, you can go ahead and insert a uh, an, an image label. Okay, uh, and just have it be right in the corner like that, okay? So, this is, um, th that's the first step. And the second step I want you to do is insert a text label. Okay, make sure it's a label. Um, and then I, then you can just position it in the bottom, uh, or in the corner over here. Uh, and then do this sort of thing. So you have that, okay? That's what you're doing so far. Now what you can do is I want you to go ahead and find an image of a, a uh, of your story player so if you don't have it if you have like an npc we'll get into this um and in, in like part two probably uh but so you say you have a an npc you can just take a screenshot um go to roblox.com and then click i think i have it open uh yeah roblox.com right here uh you can click create and then after that just go to decals and create a new decal, okay? And it should look like this. I use this for my game, okay? So yeah, something like that. Whoops, wrong game. Sorry, that's a game I'm working on. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of it. Actually, I'll, I'll just take an image for now uh, of an NPC. This works, okay? So let's just say we have a new NPC. So that, that's, that works. Don't worry, it's not going to be on the base bl uh, base plate. Um, we can just take this um, take this texture, copy it. Now get rid of this decal and go into image label. Whoops, not right click. Uh, and then in the image holder right here, image, just paste that link and it's right there. So there's your little character. Now to make it a little bit more fancy, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, highlight both of these and the frame, uh, everything. In everything in here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, set the transparency uh, background tra transparency kind of to more like that and we're gonna have the background color be a, a gray okay or let's do black okay so you can mess around with it but it kind of it kind of makes a nice effect so it's just kind of shadowed you can also take the image label and make the border color um, just black just like the rest of it so you can't really and then just mess around with it until it's nice for you then if you do that you are gonna have to pick a different text color I would suggest maybe white um, it's up to you though so after you do that I want you to go ahead and go to text scaled scale it and here comes the scripting all right so we're gonna insert a local script and here's so we we've got that part and I need you to insert a value into the workspace. Um, okay, so it's gonna be an int value. And uh, you can set the value to zero for now, okay? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, script this. So what we're gonna do is um, we can go into the local script, Discord messages. And we're gonna say game dot workspace dot, um, dot or game dot workspace workspace dot what what did we name it uh, val uh, value actually we'll go ahead and give it a name and we're gonna call it um, text game workspace dot text colon get property changed to sigma value just like this then connect function drop the line. Now here comes the uh, the time consuming part that's not super fun, but okay. Alright, so we're going to say 
We're gonna set the value to that, and then what I'm gonna do is we need an event to trigger this. So maybe it's when they walk up to a door, when it's when they're trying to get into a house, then it shows up. Okay. So for now, let's just I'm just gonna do this. So if you want it to be like kind of like the daycare story where they walk to the door, they touch it, and then there's a message, then we'll, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So make this um, frame invisible. Name the screen GUI. Um, text okay and we're gonna say uh, and we're gonna add a script into this uh, door okay so go ahead and add a script and then we can say a script dot parent dot hit uh, sorry touched colon connect function and then in these uh, br uh, parentheses right here hit drop a line we can say if hit dot parent colon find first child uh, humanoid uh, then just like that drop a line we're gonna say uh, game dot workspace dot text dot value equals one okay so now we're gonna have some if statements all right so we can say if game dot workspace dot text dot value equals equals whoops two then drop a line here is the time-consuming part that's not very fun so we're gonna first say Script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals or sorry true not false. Drop a line. We're gonna say uh, script dot and we'll actually go ahead and come uh, come in out of this entire if statement. We're gonna say uh, local text equals script dot parent. Okay, and then we can say text dot text equals. So then you have your message. Okay, so your message it can say like. Um, and we need to find we need to find whatever your story is, okay? Um, or welcome. So I'll just do welcome. So this noob is welcoming uh, welcoming you in to his house. So that's pretty nice. So we're gonna wait 0.05 seconds. This is this is the time-consuming part where you have to copy and paste each of these. Um, and that's how I do it, but it works best this way. I feel like um, I'm sure there are other ways, but this is the way I like to do it. Uh, it's smoother. Uh, so, welcome, and you can have your NPC at the door, um, welcoming you, uh, welcome, and then we're gonna change this weight to, say, three, and you can have your message as long as you want. If you want multiple messages, like, welcome, come in, so then you could, would say, wait, uh, let's give them three seconds to read that. And text.text .text equals here. Now we can keep pasting them. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, then we can change the text to come in. Okay. So then we can change the text to come in. And you can just have as many of those as you want. Um, and yeah, just keep doing that. And then I will show you the next part, which is pretty quick. So after you have your message all written out, you can get rid of any unnecessary ones. Wait three and say script.parent.parent.visible equals false. Now we can go ahead and test this out. I'm just gonna have my NPC by the door like he's actually welcoming you in. So you can have you can have your story, um, whatever you want, like I said, but just stay with that format. So let's go ahead and uh, test this out. If we touch the door to go inside, it should send a signal. And let's see, what did I put as the, oh, that NPC walks. Interesting. So there goes my NPC. I'm just going to anchor him real quick. And uh, make sure uh, that you have these two numbers matching that's uh, that or else you'll get an error okay so make sure the same number one and one and then we'll add on to that um but yeah so that should that should do it let's go ahead and test it there my npc can't walk now so welcome so you can read it for a few seconds come in perfect so that's that's it for today we're gonna um have some more parts to the um, to the uh, series sooner but that's part one 
But if you liked it, please make sure to subscribe so it'll help the channel um, grow more. And yeah, make sure to stay tuned for part two.